search engine optimization has gotten more complicated. And today, I'm going to tell you how to optimize a web page for search engine optimization so that it ranks number one in Google, and you actually put in the time to do it right. So let's go ahead and learn how to optimize a page for SEO. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can get more videos like this in the future. Number one, the first thing that you want to do is you want to review the top three to five pages that are ranking around any keyword before you even get started. So once you know your term, put that into the Google search engine, review the top three to five pages that are ranking, and consider the following. What is the main theme of those pages? What is the intent of those pages? What is the intent classification of those pages? Is it a news page? Is it a guide? Is it a list? Is it a service page? Is it a local page? It's really important that you take the time to look at that. After you've done that, you want to do the following. Is it a hub page, a page that links out to many other pages, or is it a standalone page? Are there videos on the page? Are there images on the page? Is there schema.org that's inside of the code of the page? Are there FAQs on the page? Also, when you're looking at what's returned in the SERP, what are the SERP features that are out there? Is it pulling and returning schema? Is it pulling and returning videos? Is it returning news around the query? Is it returning images around the query? It's very important you take the time to collect all of that. Next, you want to look at the word count of the page. How many words is it? You want to understand what the introduction looks like on the page and what they're covering there. And then also, what are the key points of the page? Bonus, are there facts and figures on the page? Are there blogs listed on the page? Are there FAQs listed on the page? Once you've done all of this, you've gotten a pretty good idea of what that page looks like that's ranking at the top within Google. Now it's time to fill out this template that I'm gonna give you right now. So we just gathered all this data. Now what I want you to do is fill in each one of these things one by one before you even start making this web page and this piece of content. What is the main theme of the page? What is the intent the user is looking for when searching on the page? What are the top three to five keywords that you're gonna be optimizing the page for that have at least over a few hundred or a few thousand searches a month? So that if you put in the time and you get it ranked number one and you've got a 25% click-through rate, you're gonna get in enough traffic and enough conversions that it's worth it for you to put in the time to get this page ranked number one. Do those keywords match up with the intent, all three to five of them? Is this gonna be existing content or new content on your website? Very important question. You don't wanna create another page if you've already got a page that's ranking and that's been created around the specific keyword. You'll wanna use the other page that you have in place if you have some authority there. Next, mark down all of your SERP features so that you can be sure that you're creating the schema.org and adding the multimedia to make those SERP features. Then you're going to be filling out your title tag with your top three to five keywords inside of the title, your description with your top three to five keywords inside of the description, your H1 with your main keyword in the H1, your H2 with your main and secondary keyword in the H2, and then you're going to be writing your word count then you're gonna be writing the content for the page based off of the content that's the best ranking inside of Google there and making sure that it has the same amount of word count. Inside of that text, you're gonna to wanna to use your keywords at least once every 100 to 300 words without keyword stuffing too much. Google doesn't like that that much anymore. You're gonna to wanna to use your keywords inside of your intro, and then when you get to your key points that you've taken from these other articles and that you've embellished to make them even better, you're going to want to also go into SEMrush or Answer the Public or the Google-related questions inside of Google around that query, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you address all the most important related questions, all the most important questions that are in SEMrush, and all the most important questions that are in Answer the Public. That's gonna give you a great chance to give Google and the user exactly what they're looking for. Finally, is it a hub page? How many FAQs do you need to add and what are those based off of those related questions? How many images and videos do you need to add based off a of competition? Always trying to do a little bit more. And then what schema do you need to add based off a of competition and what the search engines want to see? That's how you optimize a web page inside of Google. Google will love to see this. And then after that, it's a process of curating this content on a consistent basis and then making sure that it's link worthy so that you can get more links over time. If you like this video, give me a like. Please leave a comment below. Tell me how your SEO is going and any questions that you might have. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.